Onivia, League of Legends highlights. It's not cool. No, we all know it's not happening. There we go. Well, we now have a mounted battle Man. in the jungle. Imagine if you had a champion that was really good into team. Yeah. Or by a or a LeBlanc, I guess. And he can still use your chains and your buttons. And he is like that. LeBlanc, right? It's basically just Wheeler and even a lot of his skills will have a decent amount of wind up. Same for Execute, outside of his ultimate. Ooh, there's an Emperor's Divide, just to tell Satav to leave, and he's gonna get over that with a Mimic Distortion. Chains come in, that's a Glacial Prism, beautifully set up. Sponge is gonna help take that one down. So First Blood going over to DRX. That looks almost clinical. Really beautifully done. Willa is gonna be able to secure his Raptors, but Sponge is not finished. Oh, they do know that Sponge is there. Well spotted on the ward. A lot of bot side vision here. Execute. They are all just wrapping around. There's the knock-up. Crashdown comes on in as Pleter is very dead, but now can they answer back? Three versus two, but they're moving forward. Teddy utilizing that range it advantage. A lot of damage. And LeBlanc, when she is able to get ahead and is in a position like this where she can just poke with impunity, uh, it's hard. even a little bit than they did in the last game at this stage. It's dead even in gold. But they're still going to teleport for this one. Teleport's happening all over the place as the top laners make their way in. Sponge, Arctic Assault goes down. That's the secure on the Rift Herald. The eye picked up by Willer as well, as Rascal thinks he may have found an angle. Wants to get that all out happening, but the CC is good. There's the Featherstorm as now Henna. He does still have Flash, and the all out is going to be used. It's on to Willer though, and he just Flash crashes, and he gets himself out, and now Execute dives forward. Sponge almost just dies. But Satab gets in amongst it, closer with the Empress Divide Flash, and how are they doing this and surviving? Satab says, well, they're not Atlas. In fact, one of them is going to die. This, to me, is the break point. If the Rex get this, I think you're in a wonderful position to win this game. If they somehow lose it to Fox, I'd be in trouble. And control of the river currently in the hands of Fox. Henna, relatively low, though. You can see Vision getting cleared out. In comes the Udyr, but there's the Glacial Prison. All oh, the dive forward, the quickness is working as Sponge taking a lot of damage, but most importantly, he survives. And Willa, he's not so lucky. It's another one for Satab. And now clear, he's in the firing line. And yeah, he's tanky, but that is three members of DRX. And Teddy gets himself on the board. That should be that Drake you were talking about. And I think we are careening towards a game three. Oh, we, now it's, it's still possible, DRX. Uh, are, 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 I think, still going to be facing with a lot of internal pressure. Oh dear. Okay, he can swoop in, speaking of which. He does now know that there's probably some vision as Glacial Prison comes down. There's the crash down from Willow, though. They want to deal with the turret, and they are going to be able to do so. There's the flash out. Empress Divide finds two. The quickness is going to be there as well, but Henna, not quite enough damage onto Sponge. They're trying to focus him down, but Teddy gets excited. Satab is just going to deny the teleport. And now they take down the Sun Disk, and Teddy's still looking for more. I don't think he'll be able to get it. There we go, clear. Down here towards the bottom Jeez. side. Uh, Say that obviously doing a lot of that. Ow. As we see what those trades. Very, uh, very unfun to play into. Okay, the quickness does come through. Satab should just explode here. He flashes, but that's a huge magnet storm. And now Satab's out of the fight. Empress divide onto everyone. And Henna has taken out Teddy. And now it's the story of the Zyre as he cleans it up. That's a quadra. And Phyrex, they did not want to play a game three. Out of nowhere, the four for one. Closer sacrifices his life, but he is going. They want to grab this. There is still a Baron on Phyrex. Satab just wanting to extend this fight, trying to get them lower. Some control now as Rascal dashing forward does find Closer. Glacial Prison does come down. It should be the Drake denied here, but it is going to be taken by Willa. That is going to be Infernal Solus Execute, trying to get himself out. Empress Divide happens once again, and Rascal goes down. Satab just trying to clean up. He kills Closer once again, but Henna needs to get these autos through the... Rockets are hitting so hard for Teddy, top. and Satab is now popping off. He will be taken down, but Teddy, he just wants to kill these Baron buffs. And Clear is having none of it. He's just going to kill Teddy. Now he's going to look for the next one. Boop and scoot. That's what we've got to do. And he's chasing after Pleta. Oh, man. It's going to take a while. But I just don't think Pleta is going to be able to do anything about it. That's another kill going over to Clear. It's almost an ace. 
would have been good. Yeah. We don't, it's not really an Apples one this time around, though. I no, feel and the no, level I, of intensity is a bit higher. Is we don't lemon? need to go to the Orchard. As Zaytap will find Execute, and Execute is probably dead. Yeah, uh, Glacial Prison is there in, in fanfare. Uh, Backed yeah. on the wall. He's rooming free. I actually love Udyr. I think if I could play it. Oh, okay, in he goes! They managed to find Teddy, another massive Magnus Storm, but the Devourer is going to be there, and now Teddy with a huge shield trying to get something done. He flashes, he picks up the Tom Kench, and Teddy's still alive, and the Tom survives as well somehow, and now Teddy's real excited. That was a great attempt, or at least it sort of was. It just was not enough, and look at Clear. He's running, but I just don't think a boop at Zodia, right? Don't worry, we will be in flip turret. I don't know how, but we'll find a way. Oh, we'll get and there? And crucial there is that you see the desperation. That right. Right. There are some buttons on cooldown, I guess. Uh, but here's the flip. This is what we're flip, here for. Flip, this flip, is the game. Flip, 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 flip. This is what we're doing. Okay, Satab trying to soften them up. And Teddy is now moving on over. He is a raid boss right now. Oh, he is absolutely infernal. huge. And look at this. Satap dashing in and out and getting it done. They're not going to quite find it as Rasmus gets into the backline. Empress Divide does zero. And DRX will just execute them. That's the ace. That is Exodia. And we are heading to game three. Not even going to need it. DRX. Gonna get their first game win of the season. And it's off the back of a bounce back of Satab and Teddy finally living his best. Oh yeah. Fountain it, laser dreams. This is the Teddy that we've been waiting for. I think Senna was a little bit late, late game. I think we hit the Jinx spike just in time. And DRX looking great here in game number two. See how they do.